Hi guys, John here. And Jack. Welcome back to the island. Um, if you've been wondering where we've been, go and check out our other update video um, that is just before this one. Right now we're gonna get into a series build of what we believe is the world's most powerful electric airboat. Yes, so this is episode number one of multiple. Yeah. Uh, the episodes will be structured as usual. They will be a bit more jumpy, but other than that, they look like normal. Um, yeah. We might jump in here and there and assist with a bit of voiceover to guide you through it, but otherwise, sit back, relax, and enjoy. So in this first video, we're gonna show you the preparations we did here at the workshop, and then uh, actually how we got to the island. Yes, because this project was done at another island. Yes, it's all about islands. Here we go. Hi guys, John here. And Jack. Welcome back to another fantastic day here at the island. <laughs> Yeah, so today we are in a very busy workshop, even though uh, it is beautiful outside. We've got um, plenty to do, and we are getting stuck into a really cool project. Which includes this thing. Let's have a look. All right, so take us through, what, what's this? What this is, this? is 160 kilowatts peak, um, That's which is- 215 peak horsepower. This yes. thing is a beast. And this is going in our next project, which is an airboat. Yeah, and air, or more specifically, an airboat conversion. That's for it. For a very special client of ours, who's actually a neighbor. He lives somewhere over there. And the journey of building that world's most powerful electric airboat, probably, starts today. Like, subscribe, follow us. Let's do it. Let's get started. We didn't really have anywhere to put the ESCs, so we bought a little toolbox. I decided to use the correct size this, because if you miss that, I put the small one in the big hole. <laughs> That's what you usually do, isn't it? So we bought this little toolbox that they fit absolutely perfectly in, um, and they're just going to be flush mounted to this, so they will kind of this will kind of act like a bit of a heat sink as well. All right, so during these preparation stages, um, I was dealing with trying to get the ESCs mounted in the box. Uh, and you were dealing with uh, some alignment issues. Yeah, just with the motor mount, um, had it uh, welded up and um, and made, and we had to do the uh, holes in our workshop, and it was a difficult task. And um, just making sure that everything is 100% there um, takes a little bit of time or a fair bit of time. And as you can see, what we're doing there is uh, finally getting it all together, and uh, it looked pretty sharp when it was done. Yep. Uh, eventually, once we'd gotten the ESC in the box and the motor mount to be perfect, uh, we decided to also make the bus and phase cables. Yeah, and um, in doing this, we um, got the um, crimping tool and the lugs and crimped it all together, and then we sealed it all off um, with the heat shrink uh, with the glue in it. Yeah, and as you can see here the, on the next clip, the glue just kind of seeps out the ends. Um, the uh, reason we use those is because they're uh, like a waterproof um, and condensation proof sort of um, build and you don't want any of that in the wiring of course. No. Overall, we're happy with uh, all the cables and everything, and uh, we, we got everything ready to a point where we felt that we could pack it all up, and the next day... <laughs> get it all into the boat. <laughs> <laughs> get it all into the boat, get it over, get it into the car, and then uh, and drive with, off. Start with the next fun bit, yeah. We've got the boat loaded up with all the stuff, and today is actually gonna be the first uh, real uh, building day of project 286. Yes, so we're on our way over to dump this uh, in the car. Jack's gonna take the airboat all the way around to the other island. As I said, it's about five k's, and uh, we're gonna meet up there and we're gonna start getting this stuff over the island. All right. All good to go. Yeah, it's loaded up, that's uh, <laughs> full. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you're gonna hit the, um, hit the ice, yep. travel the five k's over that way, and I'm gonna meet you at the jetty on the mainland, yep. and then we're gonna get all this stuff in the airboat and take it over to the other island.
So I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is that the ice uh, is frozen where I thought it would be water because water is obviously slow, um, slower than ice. So I was like, yes. Bad news is I'm actually going through it. So. this a lot. It's funny to think that this is how the airboat project started. We had this problem, we had to get over this, these types of conditions and here I am doing it with an absolutely amazing setup. Oh, look how beautiful it is. Anyway, so we're through the worst ice and now it's open water. Let's see how much that, I'm guessing that's like two Ks, maybe three Ks, three Ks worth of breaking ice. Yeah, 30%, it's not too bad. Here's Jack arriving from the other side. It's a really steady headwind, as you can see, um, over the lake there. So, uh, his way through the ice. And uh, we're gonna get him to park up here, near the car, get the airboat up on land, and uh, get all uh, loaded up. We'll see what he reckons about the trip. Land. Howdy bro, how's it going? What was the trip like? So it was like... You got two... one hell of a headwind there. Oh yeah, it was like two kilometers of um, like just breaking ice. Yeah, I saw and that. It sucked because I couldn't, I couldn't go fast to yeah. get up on plane because I tried it. Yeah. And actually caught an edge and almost sank the boat. Yeah, far <laughs> so out. So I was like, because I, I tried it and you needed like only 60% to get up like on the ice. Yeah. But it never held. So yeah. I just started, I just ended up like, nah, I'm sitting here and I just broke, 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 broke. Yeah. And got out here and I mean, I've only done, tested it in, in the water once and you need like pretty much like 70% to keep plane. Yeah. And then the headwind hit me. It was pretty much full gas all the way. I heard that. But we have got 42 something percent. Beautiful. Five pretty hard K, so I'm happy with that. Oh, that's brilliant. Absolutely amazing. And straight up on land when you got here. Sneak peek of what we're gonna be working on. Here's the first load of stuff, so I'm gonna head back over. Yeah, yeah, now you can get in it. <laughs> 